Hey y'all, we're praying a blessed night. It's so good to see you. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers and grandfathers out there and those who are father figures to young people in your life. I pray that you've had a blessed day and have been able to spend time with family and go to church and worship the Lord and that you've just had a wonderful day to honor you on this special holiday. And I am so thankful for my dad. My dad is such a wonderful, loving father, and I thank God every day for giving me a dad who loves me unconditionally. We are so close, and we're friends, not just father and daughter, and I'm so grateful for the wonderful father-daughter relationship that we have. We love to cook and bake together. We love to travel together, and most importantly, we love to minister together and share the gospel of Jesus Christ everywhere we go. We just love being together, whether we're just at home just talking or playing music it doesn't matter what we're doing as long as we're together it truly is a joy to spend time with my daddy and i'm so thankful and i love him so very much and i strive all the time to follow the words of ephesians chapter 6 beginning in verse 1 that says children obey your parents because you belong to the lord for this is the right thing to do honor your father and mother this is the first commandment with a promise if you honor your father and mother, things will go well for you, and you will have a long life on the earth. We are to honor our parents. We are to honor them in everything we do, through the way we live our lives, through the way that we talk to other people, through our testimony that we share with other people. We are to honor our parents. And even if your parents have already passed away and gone to be with the Lord, you can still honor their memory. You can still honor them through the way you live your life on this earth. And I want to encourage you tonight because if you don't have a father on this earth any longer, you do have a heavenly father with you always. Because the Bible says that he is a father to the fatherless in Psalm 68 verse 5. And it tells us also in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 6 beginning in verse 18 it says, And I will be your father and you will be my sons and daughters, says the Lord Almighty. The Lord is our heavenly father. He's the greatest father that's ever been in the history of mankind because he loves us unconditionally. He loves us even with our mistakes and our imperfections and our sins. He loves us anyway. The Bible says in Romans 3.23 that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. We are all sinners in the eyes of God until we accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. Only through the grace of God can we have our sins washed away white as snow. And the Bible says in the book of Isaiah that our righteousness is like filthy rags. Everything good we've done, all of the charitable things we've done, all of the good deeds, all of the kind remarks, all of those things are still equal to filthy, dirty, soiled laundry. They're worthless on their own. But through the grace of God, God has given us a Savior. In John 3.16 it says, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only son, that whoever should believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. That's the wonderful gift of grace that God has given all of us. The gift of everlasting life. The gift of salvation. And if we put our trust in Jesus Christ, we will receive the gift of eternal life in heaven. Where we can worship around the throne of God Almighty, our Heavenly Father. What a day that will be when we stand at the throne of God, worshiping him in spirit and in truth. I can't even quite imagine what that's going to be like, but I know it's going to be the most glorious moment of my life to stand there seeing Jesus Christ face to face and worshiping around God's throne. Because Jesus Christ is my Heavenly Father and I long to see Him. But I know that one day soon He will return to this earth and take His children home. And there is so much work to be done on this earth because Jesus said the harvest is ripe and the labors are few. And the Bible says in Mark 16, 15, we're to go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. We're to be going and telling people about our Heavenly Father. We're not supposed to just be sitting in church on Sunday for one hour a week and then going home and going about our daily lives until the next Sunday rolls around. We're to be worshiping God every day of our lives. Because worshiping God is not something we do in a building somewhere called a sanctuary. It's something we do whether we're at work or school or at the grocery store or riding down the road in the car or taking a shower or mowing the grass. It doesn't matter where we are. We should always be honoring our Heavenly Father. Because like the Bible tells us in the book of Ephesians to honor our mother and father, we should honor our Heavenly Father all the more. Yet how many times do we actually take time to honor Him? 
He alone is worthy of all praise. We don't deserve the glory. Our parents, grandparents, kids, grandkids, friends, co-workers, neighbors, no one deserves the glory. None of us. The Bible says that all glory is due to the Lord. No one else deserves the glory. Even in the book of Revelation, John was chastised by one of the angels because he bowed down to worship the angel. And the angel like, no, worship only God. And that's what we should be doing. We should be worshiping our Heavenly Father. The Bible says in Psalm 103, verse 13, it says, The Lord is like a father to his children, tender and compassionate to those who fear him. This phrase, who fear him, it doesn't mean we're afraid of him. The meaning in some translations, like the Amplified Bible, says to worship him. So we are supposed to honor him and worship him and glorify his holy name. And when we do that, he's going to be a father to his children. He's going to be tender and compassionate to us. He's going to have compassion upon us. That even when we fail him, even when we make mistakes, because we will every day, we're always going to fall short because we're not perfect. The only perfect man to walk the face of this earth was Jesus Christ himself. And the rest of us, we're just imperfect people on this earth. But we're saved by grace. And God will forgive us of our sins. He'll forgive us of our mistakes if we just look to Him. And if we worship Him, He will be tender and compassionate to forgive us. He will love us. He will send His Comforter to give us comfort when we need peace, when we're going through hard times. He will give us joy when we're sad. He'll give us strength when we're weary. He's the friend who is closer than a brother. Think about your own family. Our Heavenly Father is closer than all of them. Because he will never fail us. He will never disappoint us. God is always faithful. He's the Father who is unfailing. He's the Father who is always present. The Bible says his name is Emmanuel, which means God with us. Our Heavenly Father is always with us. Our earthly fathers, they try to be with us all the time. I love to spend time with my dad, but then I have to go to work sometimes. And there's things that just cause us to not always be together but I love the time I have with him it's so special it's so wonderful I'm thinking just this past Friday night my dad and I had the opportunity to minister at a outdoor worship night and it was so wonderful to see the baptisms that were taking place right there at the worship night and people coming to know Christ and publicly expressing their faith and we were ministering and praying for people and it was just such a wonderful gathering of Christians and non-Christians alike where we can encourage one another and pray and witness and it was so wonderful and to stand next side next to my dad and worship with him was so just precious and I thank God for opportunities like that where we can worship the Lord together where we can minister together and share the gospel of Jesus Christ with other people there's no greater honor than to tell someone about Jesus Christ my Lord and Savior Jesus loves you more than you could ever possibly imagine. That's why he gave his life for you on Calvary. He didn't give his life to gain notoriety or have his name in light somewhere or hope that one day his name would be in a book. No. Jesus gave his life because he loved you. He knows you by name. He knows you better than you know yourself. The Bible says the hairs on our head are numbered. He doesn't just know the total average number of hairs on people's heads, but he knows each individual number of each individual hair on each individual person's head. That's how much God loves you. That's how much our Heavenly Father loves us. It's a love that's an agape love. It's a love that we can't quite even understand because it's so vast. It's so infinite. But it's a love that transcends all understanding that even though we don't quite understand, we can still feel his amazing love. And because of God's great love, we need to be honoring him. We need to bring honor to his holy name. Jesus Christ is the name above all names. He deserves all glory, honor, and praise. We need to be honoring the Father through the way we live, through the way we act, through the way we speak, through the way we treat other people. Every single moment of our days until God calls us home. 
The Bible says in the book of Psalms, chapter 34, one of my favorite passages because it honors the Lord. Beginning in verse 1, it says, I will praise the Lord at all times. I will constantly speak his praises. I love the phrasing of that. I will constantly speak his praises. It doesn't say I'll speak his praises in church or I'll speak his praises when the time is right or I'll speak his praises when I feel like it. Anyone that says, oh, I just don't feel like praising the Lord right now. I'm too tired. I'm too weary. I'm too discouraged. I'm too depressed. Maybe that's your problem because you're not praising the Lord. When we praise the Lord, that's when we're going to gain strength from our Heavenly Father. That's when we're going to be lifted up and encouraged. Then it goes on in verse 2, I will boast only in the Lord. Let all who are helpless take heart. Come, let us tell of the Lord's greatness. Let us exalt His name together. May we all honor our Heavenly Father together. May we spend time every day honoring Jesus Christ, the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings. Almighty God is He. He deserves all of our praise. He loves us more than we could ever possibly comprehend. Put your trust in Jesus Christ. Put your trust in our Heavenly Father. He loves you so very much, and He is always faithful. I invite you to go to cwrmusic.org where you can watch more Be Encouraged videos. You can also listen to songs my dad and I written free of charge. You can even download the free MP3 files as well. In addition, you can watch my brand new, my first music video. I'm so excited about this opportunity God has given me to create a music video. My dad recorded the music and the vocals and I created the video. And I'm so excited to be able to share this song that God has given me with you in this format. I pray it will be an encouragement to you and everyone you share it with, that they will be encouraged to follow Jesus Christ because he truly is our only lasting hope. In addition, you can read and even print off gospel articles. My dad and I love to hand these out to people everywhere we go, whether we're at the grocery store, airports, restaurants, wherever God's lead us. We want to tell people about the saving grace of Jesus Christ our Lord. You can read these online in about 91 different languages. You can also print them out as PDFs, download them, share them there with other people. Make as many copies as you'd like to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ before his soon return. Finally, you can read a free chapter of my first book, There's Sunshine and Waiting You, as well as a free chapter of my brand new book, Worshiping God in Spirit and in Truth. I pray these resources will be an encouragement to you and those you share them with. Have a blessed night. Remember that Jesus Christ loves you more than you could ever possibly imagine. So bring honor to his holy name as you honor our Heavenly Father. God bless you.